All right, welcome booty babes on day one of our fall back into your best booty challenge. You got Danita with bootybands.com. We are gonna get the most amazing booty after this challenge. We've already seen great results. We've already done this challenge before, and the results was you're gonna get a more lifted, round, and better shaped booty overall. It's gonna be awesome, so let's get started. First, we wanna start off with just the basics, and we're going to progress with each other. So as we go through the modifications, if you're already advanced and you already know how to do it, go ahead and just jump towards the end of the video where I'm starting to lift the weights. If you're a beginner, let's go ahead and get started with each other so that we learn the correct form so we get the best results. What you're gonna need for this workout series and for today is you're gonna need your booty bands, so make sure you've got your level one, two, three, and four. Your body bands, we'll be utilizing those through this challenge. So again, those four levels. We have dumbbells, we've got the barbells, and as well, like if you have some sort of chair or bench, or let's say a bed or a couch or anything like that will work as well. A yoga mat's an always nice, but let's go ahead and get started with the equipment that you, ha you do have, and let's go ahead and get into the correct form. Okay, so the first thing that we need to know about hip thrust, that's what today is all about, is knowing the difference between an anterior tilt and a posterior tilt, okay? Big difference, making the glutes do all the work, okay? So we'll do that together, but let's go ahead and get started. Grab your level one body band first, and we'll get started with that. There's different ways to do a hip thrust. Some people are just coming out of surgery or just had a baby or all sorts of different things, and so it'll be great to see all the different levels that we can do together. Okay, so starting with our body band, our level one, we're gonna place it onto our hips, and then we're just going to slip it through to the shoe, over the shoe, Awesome. We're gonna start our hip thrust, AKA a bridge, because it's a great way to start off by learning the correct form. Your feet are pretty close to you. They're about uh, just a few inches away from your booty, so if you sit up, you could possibly touch those heels. Um, you wanna make sure that your feet and knees are about hip distance apart, and you wanna keep that, uh, that band right on your hips. Make sure that your lower back is connected to the mat and that almost like your booty is kind of almost lifted up. From here, we're going to push against the band, lifting our hips up towards the ceiling and then bring it down. And because today is all about those 20 reps, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up with 20 of these. Making sure that you're breathing and making sure that you're pushing your hips all the way up against that band so that you're drawing a straight line all the way from your knees down to your shoulders. Nice, slow and controlled. You're squeezing your glutes. You should already start to feel them about now. Pushing those heels into the mat. You're also gonna be feeling like your hamstrings. You will be tightening your lower back. All these other benefits you're gonna be getting as well just in the hip thrust. It's not even about that booty, you're even getting more. And just remember, when you are lifting weights and using resistance, what you're doing is you're building lean muscle, therefore that lean muscle is gonna speed your metabolism and burn your fat while you're sleeping. So, hence you're gonna get faster results, a smaller waist just in today's workout. Good work, keep going. I think I lost count, but who cares? We're gonna get there. Let's do three more. Good, so if you're feeling that booty on fire, that is a good thing. So that is a way that you can continue to keep doing your hip thrust if you need to, to have the most basic modification. The other way that we can do it is with the booty band. So let's go ahead and place that on. Now this time I'm gonna start to uh, go to a little bit more weight. Now this is your choice if you wanna choose dumbbells or uh, barbell. I'm going to do every single product, so it depends on what you have at home, so that everybody that's doing this challenge has an opportunity to do it. Okay, so still laying on the mat. We'll get up to the uh, hip thrust in just a moment. Now go ahead and squeeze those glutes as you lift it up as we're gonna go back into 20 reps. Now 
always in the booty bands and barbells workouts, we always start focusing on our mindset in our warm ups because we know that when the mind is positive, the body will follow. So we focus on mind, body, and life in the booty bands and barbells program. So today I wanna ask you, how are you becoming stronger today? Focusing on your wins every day can keep you in that positive state of mind. So how are you becoming more strong today? Good work, let's go five more. This time what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come up, we're gonna push against that band, bring it in and down, adding a little flare to the hip thrust, showing you all different styles. Now I guess this is a bridge. Hip thrust in just a moment. Same, same. Lift, out, in, and down. Good, two more. Already feeling the glutes on fire. Oh yeah, I'm excited to see what our booties are gonna look like. Good work. Okay, so now let's go ahead and implement bench, allowing your booty to rest just for a few minutes here, getting yourself set up, and you wanna make sure now you have a little heavier weight. Now this is if you're advanced, this is a way to do it. So instead of the level one, a great opportunity to bump it up. So evil level two, I'm gonna take it to level three. I'm getting excited here. Place that up onto your thighs, just right above the knees is perfect. And I already have my weight set up, but if you need to add your weight to yours, go ahead and just pause the video. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale it over to us. I have a booty bands and barbells pad on here, making it so it's super comfortable for the hips. You can roll it up up to the thighs and onto the hips. Go ahead and just place it right up into your bra strap, right where it connects there. From there, we're gonna go ahead and just bend our feet so they're in the same position as we did the bridge. And then we're gonna pop up so now that we're resting our bra strap area onto the bench. You take your chin and you just tuck it down as we focus on that posterior chain. So remember, not anterior, posterior. Keep your glutes tucked in the whole time. We're just gonna drop down just a few inches and then squeeze back up, 20 reps. Up, out, in, and down. Pushing against that band, the same time you're lifting that weight up, you are gonna be getting triple the results. Why? Because you're working all three muscles at the same time in this workout. If you're feeling your glutes literally on fire, then you're doing it right. Push those heels into the mat. Keep going, let's go five more. Beautiful work. When you're ready, go ahead and bring it down, roll the barbell away and off of you, and you're done. Let's go ahead and finish with some nice good stretches because the blood flow is what's going to now increase our results. So you can do this either on the mat or on a bench, your choice. I like to bring it up to a bench because it just deepens the stretch. Go into a high lunge. <clears throat> dropping your hips towards the ground so there's a straight line from your knee all the way down to your heel. Whew, I'm out of breath on this one. Whew, if you're out of breath, that's good. That means you were working hard on that last one. Feel free if you weren't really working hard, do another set of those. Go a little heavier as we start to progress in our hip thrusts. Good, just kind of slowly rocking it forward and back really driving yourself further and further, your hips towards the ground. Good, from here, keep the one foot, or one hand down as you press the other one, the hand against the inside of your leg. You can look back behind you and you can feel that all through your glutes. 
Nice, good breathing here. Inhale and exhale. I think every stretch, do three breaths and allows me to make sure I'm breathing during my stretching. All right, so just go ahead and heel toe all the way across to the side of the bench and we're gonna go into an elevated pigeon. So nice, good inhale. You can even drop that back knee a little bit and ooh, you're gonna feel that right through that front glute. Awesome. Now go ahead and keep that foot on there. You keep the heel as the toes come up and just bring your nose to your knee. You can keep a slight bend in your knee, allowing the blood flow still to come through your legs. And any little micro movement that you wanna do, left to right, forward and back with your foot, allows you to kinda of get in there a little bit deeper into the stretch. Great work. Now let's go ahead and repeat to the other side. Checking in with yourself, feeling super accomplished for completing day one. And if you'd like to complete more days, feel free to go through the app, add another workout on today if you want to. Having a booty workout today will be great. You're double, doubling your booty, your choice. You can follow the challenge as it is, or you can add on. It's like a little build, build your own workout. You can add or subtract whatever you want. Good work. Go ahead and now press the inside of that knee as you look behind. Good, heel toe across, drawing that seven at the front of the leg. And oh, you will definitely feel this one. Good, bring it up. All right. If you feel like you want to add any more stretches, feel free to do so. A great way to replenish your workout is make sure to get the booty bands and barbells protein right after your workout so that you're fueling your muscles and therefore getting amazing results. So thanks for joining me today. And if you have no idea where this challenge is, make sure to go into the booty bands and barbells app where we are doing a fun challenge about how to get back to your best booty. So lots of love you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.